You ever got all your tools out and you're gung-ho and you're ready to work on a story and then when you sit down you don't really know where to begin? Let's talk. I have a tool that might be able to help. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Mike, the Bowtie Writer here. Happy Tuesday. So for this week, I wanted to have this conversation about how to pre-write because it's pretty common when people are starting a new project that they get kind of overwhelmed, right? You're starting a brand new project. You're excited. The sky's the limit. The possibilities are endless. And yet, the possibilities are endless. And the sky's the limit. That's really, really overwhelming. And quite frankly, when you're starting from a blank slate, a blank slate can be really intimidating. I get it. It can be overwhelming. It can be kind of scary. To help you out today, I wanted to share a technique that I've used for the last couple of books that I've been working on, and it's really helped me out. So maybe it will help you out. I call this the expando method, and this is really just a technique that really helped me focus my pre-writing and make sure that I was spending time pre-writing stuff that was actually going to impact the story. This expando method has got five steps. Let's get started. Step one. Write a synopsis. For this first step, we're starting fresh. So get out a clean sheet of paper, open a new notebook, or create a new Word document, whatever you need to do. Start with something fresh, and you're going to start by trying to write the synopsis of your plot. You might not know what's going on in your plot. That's okay. Be as vague as you need to be. Don't commit to anything that you don't want to. That's all right. That's part of this process. You don't have to be specific at this stage. Also, you don't have to write that much. My first pass is usually maybe a half page, not much more at all. It's very, very short. I did this exercise when I was working on my giant robot novel, and to give you an idea of the kind of stuff that I'm putting down on the page at this step, here's the first paragraph from that pre-write. The day of a climactic space battle, our freelance pilot is attempting to rob a long-haul freighter with a massive safe. He gets in, the pilot, a freelancer herself, resists and he is forced to stun her. With nowhere else to put her, he puts her in his ship. After much daring, he cracks the safe. There's not money inside. Step two. Write your questions. I want you to go through that synopsis that you just wrote, that, that half page or whatever it is, and I want you to write down any question that you have based on what you wrote. Some of the questions are very, very basic, and yet you'd be amazed how many questions you can come up with going through even the most simple of synopsis. Step three, answer the questions. You have got the vaguest notions of a plot and you've got a long list of questions about that. So for this third step, you're going to go through from top to bottom and answer those questions. This is where the rubber really meets the road and why I really like this process. Because by virtue of this setup, I am forcing myself to focus my world building on topics that are going to directly impact the plot of the story that I am trying to tell. That way, I spend my time focusing on stuff that's going to matter for the story, and I don't waste my time world building esoteric details that just aren't going to come up. I will tell you this is the part of the process that can take the most amount of time, and I will also say it can be very frustrating at times, because when you're working on trying to answer these questions, you might not know the answer, or you just have the vaguest notions of an answer. That's okay. That's okay. Put down something. It doesn't have to be super specific. It doesn't have to be super precise. Just put down something and move on. Step four, rewrite the synopsis. At this point in the process, you've got your really vague synopsis that you came up with at the beginning, and you've got your long list of answers that have gotten a little more specific. For this step four, you're going to smush them together. That is, you're going to rewrite your synopsis, incorporating as much of that information as you can. The end result of this process is that you should have been able to take that really vague half-page synopsis and expand it just a little bit. You've just been able to make it a little more specific. 
The purpose is not to resolve every single question for your setting and be ready to go and ready to write. No, no, no. That's not the purpose of this process. The purpose is just to block in broad strokes of your story world, broad strokes of your world building that you need. For example, when I started the first pass through my synopsis, they were just trying to rob a freighter. It quickly became apparent when I was answering my questions, though, that there was actually going to be a major company that was a huge turning point for this entire story, and they ended up being one of the major antagonists in the story. I didn't start with that. That came from this sort of pre-writing exercise. Step five, repeat. So at the end of step four, you had another synopsis. For step five, you're going to simply repeat this process. So go through that revised synopsis and make a list of every single question that you have. You'll find that these questions are a little more specific and a little more detailed than they were the first go around because you've got a little bit more structure to work with, a little bit more of a framework to begin operating in. Go through, write down those questions. Go through, answer those questions. Rewrite that synopsis. Get the new one. Make the same thing. Make more specific questions. Go through, write the answers. Keep going, keep going. Do it two, three, four times if you need to. Each time you'll be getting a little bit more structure, a little bit more detailed. And the whole time you are focusing all of your world building precisely on where you have questions necessary to tell your story. For me, after about three to four passes, I have transformed what was originally 500 really vague words into about 500 to 1,000 words of pretty precise plot points. I know the pretty specific beats of this story. I see the large structure that I am going to be working in, and all of my important world-building questions have been answered. That's the point where I'm not really full of any more questions. At this point, I'm ready to write. Those are the five steps to the expando method. It's a technique that's really served me well. I hope that you get some use out of it as well. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to ask away down below in the comments or feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I'm at BowtieWriter. I'm there entirely too much and I'd love to chat with you. As always, if you liked what you saw, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That really does help me out. Otherwise, that's it. That's all I've got for this week. I'm Mike the Bowtie Writer. I will see you all next time. Bye, bye, no, 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 no. Put it, put it,